Joe Biden, the incumbent president of the United States, is not doing very well right now. I mean, the guy is down 11 points on the generic ballot on the popular vote and is only winning 17% of independent voters. But between Trump and Biden, Trump is only leading by 2 percentage points, which is still pretty good for Trump, but not nearly as good. But what if Trump faces a generic Democrat, such as Gavin Newsom, who actually Democrats would in this scenario be up six points and would be winning the independent vote by five percentage points and in fact white voters and would only favor the republican party by five percentage points in this scenario so today we're going to be pairing up gavin newsom the california governor who survived his recall election by a huge margin and is someone who is seen as the face of the new democratic party would do against donald trump now, with the safe states filled in right now, Gavin Newsom is at 181 electoral votes to Donald Trump, who is at 113 electoral votes. Let's start off with Donald Trump's likely states here. So, Alaska and South Carolina are both likely Republican states for Donald Trump. This is not much of a surprise whatsoever. Furthermore, we will see the states of Iowa and Ohio here in the likely Republican column. Gavin, uh, D Donald Trump here will still probably win both of those states by likely margins. We do see that Donald Trump is pretty strong in some of the Rust Belt states, especially in Iowa and Ohio, where Joe Biden actually won the popular vote by nearly five points. But Trump was able to still pull up 8% victories in both of these traditionally bellwether states. Now, going to the final state, that will be likely for Donald Trump is the state of Florida. Now, Florida has trended away from the Democrats tremendously because Latino voters, which who generally prefer Democrats by a huge margin, have shifted away from the Democratic Party and towards the Republican Party, especially in the state of Florida, where Trump did 22% better than what he did in 2016 in Miami-Dade County, the largest county by population in the state, and Gavin Newsom will lose the state against Donald Trump. But Gavin Newsom, in his likely states, Colorado, New Mexico, and Virginia, nothing surprising there. I'm going to give Maine's 2nd District to Donald Trump without much explanation. Maine's at large vote, though, because the 1st District is bluer than the 2nd District is redder, and also because the 1st District has more votes in general. Maine's at large vote will be likely in the Democratic column. We will also see the state of Minnesota here, a state that Joe Biden won by just over 7 points, as well as the state of New Hampshire, where Trump, Trump has antagonized many of the state's voters. Really, both of these states will go for Gavin Newsom by likely margins in this prediction. Now, the remainder states are what's considered competitive states. I'm going to get rid of Nebraska second here because generally people do agree that the district is leaning toward the Democratic Party, and so I'm going to give Gavin Newsom that district. But the remainder states are really what this what states are going to decide the presidential election. Now, first off, I'm going to just characterize the state of Texas here. I think Texas will be a lean state for Donald Trump because Trump did not do that well in the state in 2020. The state really is trending towards the Democratic Party. Now, if we look at this map, it's a bit misguiding. We see huge Hispanic trends and huge red arrows and not many blue arrows. Nonetheless, again, population, right? These large and populated counties around Tarrant County, Dallas County, Collin County, Denton County, these very populated areas are trending towards the Democrats by huge margins. And these areas that are trending towards the Republicans don't have many voters. Furthermore speaking, we are going to see areas like Collin County, Denton County in like 10 years probably flip towards the Democratic Party just because that's how trends end up happening. I also think that Trump will do better in against Joe Biden in the state than Gavin Newsom or another Democrat who voters have not experienced yet as a president, because right now both these men are not very well liked as politicians by voters. Now, going to this first state here is the state of Nevada. The state of Nevada here voted for Joe Biden by 2.4% over Donald Trump. This was not the most impressive victory for the incumbent president, because uh, he underperformed the state of Nevada two points compared to the national average. Furthermore speaking, Really, the state, despite the fact that the national average and the national popular vote trended towards Joe Biden by more than two percentage points, Nevada actually slightly trended towards the Republicans because Las Vegas co County, or Clark County as a matter of fact, trended towards the Republican Party, the, the county that is about 70% of the state's population. I think Gavin Newsom will narrowly end up winning the state 
against Donald Trump, but this will be a very close race, definitely. Now, going to the state of Arizona. Now, Arizona, similarly to the state of Nevada, is bordering the state of California, where Gavin Newsom is governor of. I don't think that's going to help him too much, but it might just help him a little bit. And really, a little bit matters. Furthermore speaking, the state is trending towards the Democratic Party, not by like a huge pace, not significantly, at least between 2020 and 2024, but the long trend is that the state will trend towards the Democratic Party. Donald Trump has also escalated that trend towards the Democratic Party because the state is really trending blue, and the two largest counties in the state by far in population, these two counties make up about three quarters of the state's population. Both of these counties are trending blue by huge margins, and by 2000 and the 2030s, the state will be gone for the Republican Party. I think that in 2024, Gavin Newsom will narrowly win the state of Arizona. Now going to the state of Georgia. Now Georgia's interesting. It's a state where Democrats are really improving by huge margins. However, if we look at one of the polls here, it suggests that black voters aren't that engaged for Democrats. Sure, Democrats are winning them by 50 percentage points, so what's the deal here? Well, Biden actually won these voters by about 70 percentage points. So it actually is quite concerning that black voters are not supporting Democrats by that large of a margin. Now, I know 20 percent is a huge margin, but again, black voters only make up about what, a seventh of the electorate. Nonetheless, in a state like Georgia, that could really matter, especially because the election is going to be very close. Uh, Democrats did better because of two reasons, black voters turning out and also because of the fact that white college educated voters end up turning out for Democrats rather than Republicans, something that was generally not seen in prior elections. I think Gavin Newsom will do pretty well with white college educated voters, but not so well with black voters, just because right now black voters are disillusioned with the Democratic Party compared to what they were maybe a couple of decades ago or maybe just a couple of years ago. Therefore, I think Trump will probably win the state of Georgia. Now for the state of North Carolina. The state of North Carolina is also a close state. Like, it's a state that's trending towards the Democratic Party, like the state of Georgia. Both these states are contentious, especially in like 2024, the state, or 2028, the state of North Carolina will be really close. The state is trending towards the Democratic Party, but the rural areas are really still holding out for the Republicans. That's how Trump won the state. Without the rural areas trending towards him, Trump would have actually lost the state of North Carolina. Democrats still they are improving in areas like Wake County, like Mecklenburg, as well as some of the excerpts and suburbs. Now, I think in 2028, Democrats will actually be favored in the state of North Carolina, but for 2024, I think Donald Trump will still narrowly carry the state. I think it's going to be close, but it's but he's still going to carry it. Now for the state of Wisconsin. Um, white voters in uh, between 2006, uh, 2020 and 2024 had a group of voters that actually have not trended towards the Republican Party. In fact, Against a generic Democrat, um, white voters only go to the go to Donald Trump by five percentage points, which is not very good for Trump. I mean, that's really a warning sign because white voters are the predominant group for the Republican Party, yet they're not really voting in favor of the Republicans like what they were maybe a decade or so ago. And I think in the state of Wisconsin here, I think Gavin Newsom could do quite well in some of the wild counties and end up winning the state, as well as do pretty well in the rural areas. Now, Wisconsin, the reddest of the three Rust Belt states, with that state being blue, I think that's obvious that Gavin Newsom will probably also, in that this scenario, win the state of Michigan. Michigan is the blue state out of the three states. The suburban regions have trended tremendously towards the Democratic Party. That includes areas like Kent County, areas like Oakland County, Livingstone, as well as Ann Arbor, as well as some of the Detroit regions. Some of the rural areas in the state of Michigan are not really trending towards the Republican Party, and that's a problem because Republicans need some of the rural areas in order to win the state. And right now, the state of Michigan, the rural areas aren't trending towards the Republican Party by that large of a margin, while Democrats are continuously improving in some of the suburban regions. So that will be a lean Democratic characterization in the state of Michigan. Finally, in the state of Pennsylvania. Now, this is another state where I think uh, Gavin Newsom could do really well in. Although this is a state that Joe Biden was born in, I don't think voters necessarily like Biden in the state as they may have done in 2020. I think that Gavin Newsom could do well in the rural areas compared to a 
typical Democrat like Joe Biden. And I also think that Gavin Newsom could do pretty well in the suburban regions. Again, white voters, they are they, they are concerning for the Republicans. Republicans have generally dominated white voters in the past and would probably domi- dominate against someone like Joe Biden, right? A, he, a Joe Biden's losing white voters by more than 20 percentage points, at least against a generic Republican. Uh, but if... But Trump's barely winning these white voters, and that's going to be problematic because that shows that many college-educated voters in Pennsylvania and across the United States will not be voting for Donald Trump. And here we have it. I think Gavin Newsom will win the state of Pennsylvania, and as long with that, also the presidential election. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.